What's up everyone, welcome back to Just Finish Coding. This is part 7 of our Connect 4 series on Scratch 3, so let's get coding. Just finished coding. Now quick interjection here, if you've not watched parts 1 to 6, please watch them before you come here because we're picking up from where we left off and you'll be very lost. I'll leave a card for you right here. Please watch the videos and then come right back. If you're still here, I'm going to assume that you've watched parts 1 to 6, in which case let's finish off our game with the last few steps. So before I get into making our controller sprite faster, what I will do is to head uh, first to the end screen and uh, change this mistake which I made right here. So instead of a hide, I added a show which is plenty of stupidity on my part, but make sure you change that. Now next I'm going to head over to the controller sprite and uh, scroll back down to this win2 function and uh, if you did this correctly you wouldn't have made this error but for some reason I think my mouse slipped and I had I, I had this L plus K instead of L plus 2 comma K and uh, make sure you have this correctly. So once you have that now you can get into making the uh, controller sprite really fast but um, once again before that I'm going to head back to the end screen. And then I'm going to do one thing that makes sure like these two blocks exit out of this game over loop. And that is uh, first uh, within controller, not controller, sorry, end screen. I'm going to um, first set game over back, uh, back to be true. So I'm going to say set game over to true. And uh, this will ensure that those two um, coins uh, exit from the loop and then they actually hide when we tell them to and uh, once you've set game over to true uh, at the end of each one of these uh, glidings you want to add in a stop all so that your uh, code ends when uh, this script is over we don't want the code to keep on executing when the game is over so this will make sure that your code terminates all right so once you're done with that now you can head over to the controller sprite and uh, scroll right back up to your uh, first uh, step one function or uh, actually do it for move itself so now when you right click and click edit on the move function, you can click on this uh, um, checkbox which says run screen without a refresh. And uh, what this will do is run through your entire code without bothering to update the screen. And the reason we'd want this to happen is because none of these steps involve drawing anything on the screen. And the reason that our code is so slow and so laggy is because after every single line of code, uh, the computer is going to check if something can be drawn on the screen or not. And uh, that is going to slow in the process significantly and we don't really even need that to happen. So uh, click on each one of your steps and uh, you can just uh, uh, check that checkbox which says run screen without refresh. And uh, you'll be pretty blown away by how fast this actually gets once you do that. Now you can do this for your check winner function as well and uh, uh, each of the win functions individually. If you just do it for the check winner function, you won't see as much of an impact. So uh, I'll be doing it for all the functions. So once you've um, finished the four functions, I highly recommend you try out the game yourself and the game should be working really, really fast. And um, the only problem that you will face is that while this, you know, red wins or green wins is coming down, you would see that the coin, ha uh, coin has shown up on the top and you can move it with your arrow keys. And that's so weird and that is what I'll be fixing right now. So click on your red button first and scroll all the way down and uh, from events, grab this block which says when I receive and now you can see when I receive P wins, we will hide and when we receive Q wins, we will hide. There's no need to show it right at the beginning because we had this uh, game over uh, loop ha uh, happen right here and if turn is P then it's automatically going to show. So now once you have these two in place, now you can just uh, drag and drop these within the green button. I'm going to put it in my backpack and then put it right there and uh, this is really up to you. So to uh, drag and drop from our backpack, we just uh, throw in the code and now I'm going to clean up the code and uh, delete everything back from my backpack. And I'm also going to clean up uh, the code uh, in all the other sprites so that I have some neat code. So uh, head over to the end screen, click clean up, and uh, that is pretty much it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be your Connect 4 game. I know this lasted a little bit longer than uh, what I intended it to, but I wanted to keep the video short, and in case the shorter videos helped you more, then please make sure you comment down below so that I know I'm doing the right thing. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you click on the video on your screen right here and that'll take you to a brand new game segment. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.